Let's talk about Louis Oosthuizen's golf swing, why he's such a good ball striker, and is his swing a good matchup for you? Let's discuss. Louis Oosthuizen is a phenomenal ball striker. And there's something interesting that's not as common that he does is he's more of an arm swing kind of player. The most common swing nowadays is the body turning really hard, hips getting massively open, chest turning hard, and it's a little bit more passive with the arms instead of it being more of an arm swing. And because he relates more to most amateurs because he uses more of an arm swing. So let me explain what he does. And then I'll explain the key on why I think he's such a good ball striker. There's one thing he does in particular that I think is what makes his ball striking phenomenal. But his golf swing, he's got a lot of flow to it. It's not very mechanical, it's very flow. I think that's why he's able to stay loose, stay consistent, and bring his swing week to week. So when he takes the club back, he, he has a little bit of a rock. He, he turns his body, but he gets the arms up. So he's more of getting the arms up here instead of way behind them. Because if you get the arms more behind you, it's gonna encourage you to have to use more body turn. So it's a good matchup for his arms to get more up here in front of him because he's a little bit more of an arm swing kind of guy. And then from the downswing, he doesn't out, his lower body and his upper body doesn't outrace his hands. He's very, very connected. So when he takes the club back, when he comes back down, his arms are very much in front of him. A lot of times with, with these traditional swings now, or I say traditional, but these most common swings now where it's a lot of lower body turn, a lot of upper body turn, the club doesn't necessarily get behind them, but man, they are torquing that body open. The club looks more like this, and then it comes into impact, but his arms stay in front of him. So if you're not a guy with a lot of mobility and you use a lot more of your arms, this swing's a pretty good matchup for you because he takes the club out, gets the arms up, gets the arms back out in front of his chest. Basically, he looks at the, if you look at the hands, he keeps his hands in front of his chest the whole swing. They never get behind him. So here, back out in front of you, and through, and his lower body all, also doesn't outrace his upper body. He's very connected. Now the one key, let me make a couple swings. I'll, I'll try to mimic his swing to the best of my ability. Obviously, I'm not Louis Oosthuizen, so I don't have a swing, but I have more of a body turn swing, but he picks the club up like this, and he finishes a little bit higher when he comes through. Instead of finishing low and below the left shoulder, which is most common for players that have lots of body rotation, you'll see the club exit really low down here, but he's more of an arm swing guy, so his, arm, his hands exit a little bit, or the club exits a little bit higher up there. So, now here's what I think makes him such a good player. He releases the face square every single time. It's not a flippy release. He releases the face matching his spine. So if you look at the angle right here, he matches the spine when he comes through. But it, it's, it's up high. Most players are a little bit lower down here. It's up high, but he keeps that face going at the target as long as possible. So it's like taking, if you're playing yard toss, or cornhole, whatever y'all call it, and you're throwing the bag, if, if you were facing this way, I know you face this way, but he releases the hand like this. He doesn't roll the hand. This is timing based. This is releasing it at the target. So when he releases the club, he literally, just like shooting a basket, but underhanded, he releases it right at the target every single time. And to me, that's the most important thing. So if you're struggling with left and right shots, work on his release where you release it square and you get the face matching more of your spine instead of it being way closed and rolling the hands like this. So let me mimic his swing one more time. So the arms go more up. Chunk that ball a little bit, let me try again. Got the release right, it's not my swing, but I got the release right. Hit a little chunky, so arms up. Arms through, got that face nice and square coming through. I think that's why he's super consistent in my opinion. I love that release. I think he's gonna be good for a long time. Obviously he's been good for a long time. I think that might be a good matchup for you if you're more of an arm swing player is instead of rolling the arms like this and getting it over, release the face more, matching your spine and at the target. Give that a shot. I hope you enjoyed me talking about Louis Oosthuizen's golf swing, why he's so consistent. If you want more of those, please drop a comment. Also hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get access to all these videos and be notified when I post new ones. Besides that guys, I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.